Chad, you must let go of your love for Whitney. Chad, you hear Father Lonigan? He's telling you that to live with Whitney would be a sin against God and against nature. No. No, we'd only live as brother and sister. But at least we'd be together. We'd be friends. Chad, the temptation to go back to your previous relationship would be too great. Father, I swear, I won't let that happen. It's weird, man. You want Whitney in your bed even after you found out she's your sister? What are you, like, a sick freak? You have to know how wrong it would be, Chad. It's not only wrong, it's disgusting. The very idea of it is repulsive. And, and what about the baby Whitney is carrying? It's Fox's child. Do you expect him just to walk away from his own baby? Of course not. I know they're having a child together. I just want to be part of her life. But this is not the way, Chad. No matter how much you believe, you could suppress your feelings for your sister. If you were living together, seeing each other every day, over time, the temptation would become too great, and you would give in to it. You cannot do that. Not to Whitney, and not to yourself. If you do, you could be destroying your own lives. You must let go of this. You must let go of wanting to be with Whitney, your sister. I'm sorry, Father. I can't. I can't let go of Whitney. Chad. Come on, man. Listen, what the hell's the matter with you, huh? Whitney's your sister. All right, you heard him. It's a sin to want to be with her. Not to mention the fact that it's disgusting. Well, I don't see it that way. Well, that is obvious, Chad. But that doesn't make it right. Look, all I'm asking is for the chance for Whitney and I to live the life we dreamed about. That's impossible. You know that. It's not impossible, Father. We didn't find out we shared the same mother until after we fell in love. You know, we had this wonderful life planned. All I want is a chance for us to live that life. I know it'll mean sacrifices. And I know we can't be lovers. We can still be best friends. And I can help you raise a child. Hey, watch it over there, okay? That's my kid you're talking about. You know, I just, I can't listen to this anymore. No, I can't either. And I cannot force you to change your mind. God has given us all free will. But I will pray that you and Whitney do the right thing. I hope that you will pray as well, Chad. Yes. Pray for God's strength to keep you from making a terrible mistake. One that could destroy not only you and Whitney, but also those who love you. You know, I can't even believe Chad would think of something like this. And what in that brain of his makes him think that I would even let Whitney go live with him? I, mean, I know he's my half-brother and everything, but it's completely out of the question. Fox, I'm not sure you're going to be able to tell Whitney what to do. Look, I know this is upsetting, but I'm afraid if you come on too strongly, then the whole thing is going to backfire and make everything much worse. Make everything worse? Mother, we are at the threshold of hell. How are things going to get any worse? I think you know the answer to that. I mean, you saw how Whitney hesitated when Chad asked her how she felt. You know, I don't... Sh Ma, sh she's confused, all right? She's upset, she's confused. Yes, but she hasn't exactly said no, now has she? She's in shock, all right? You know, who, who would have thought something like this would happen? She's in shock. Fox, honey, I think that you need to prepare yourself for the worst... I mean, the very horrifying possibility that Whitney might say yes to Chad and go and live with him. I just wish this nightmare would end, you know? And Chad would just move on with his life so that I can move on with my life with Whitney. At least focus on my child, you know? Yeah. I hope and pray that that happens. What I, you, don't, you don't actually think that Whitney's... Mom, you don't think Whitney's gonna go along with this idea, do you? 
No. I, I, I don't think so, honey. I mean, I really have to believe that there is nothing in this world that would bring Chad, Chad and Whitney back together. No. Okay. 